Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Armchair Traveler. You know, one of the last things you want to happen when you're traveling on a motorcycle is to find out your battery has lived its last day. Now, wouldn't it be kind of nice if you could kind of get a heads up? Uh, let's say whether it be your charging system has failed or maybe the battery's just, you know, if your battery's over about three years old, it's probably time to replace it. That's typically about how long a motorbike's battery lasts. But wouldn't it be kind of nice if you could kind of get a heads up, get an idea of just how much life you might have left in that battery? Or maybe if you're traveling down the highway and your charging system just decides to fail. I've had that happen. Wouldn't it be kind of nice to know that ahead of time so that maybe you could be a little bit proactive rather than just have the bike stop along the road somewhere? Well, today we're going to talk about just such a tool you might want to throw this into your arsenal. So let's take a look at what I did on my bike. All right, so what I did was I found a little meter called a battery bug. And the beauty of this thing is that I've mounted it right up here on the front of the motorbike. So while I'm riding, it's very easy for me to look down and I can see how many volts my charging system is putting out while I'm riding the bike. When the bike is parked, or each time I start it, it actually will give me an idea of what percent battery life approximately I have left on my current battery, which can be very convenient. Now, the way this system works, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, all I've done is run, uh, it has a, a, one little wire, um, obviously a, a, a positive and a negative uh, on it, and I just ran that down and directly connected that to my battery. Now, I did put an inline fuse holder, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, and, and the reason why I did that is because uh, in the wintertime, when your motorbike sits outside all day, uh, it takes a lot of power to crank it over. And the battery bug doesn't really understand that. So what it thinks is that your battery uh, may be running down, and that may not necessarily be the case. So what I have found is it's much more accurate if every so often I just pull the fuse out, which breaks the line to the battery bug, uh, give it a minute or so, plug it back in. Uh, so I can very easily in the shop when it's uh, warm, I can just pull that out, let it sit for a minute, plug it back in, the battery bug automatically resets. Then when I start the bike, the battery bug will check and see what kind of condition the battery's in and it'll report that back to me. Uh, when uh, you reach approximately 10% of the battery's life, in other words, that's all it has left, it actually will come up and warn you and let you know that, hey, you need to take a look at your battery. It's probably time to replace it. But what I, the biggest reason why I got this thing really was because when you're traveling, wherever it may be, more than likely there may not be uh, any place close that uh, you'd want to maybe stop and then say, okay, if my motorbike won't start, I can you know, run across the street and get a new battery. Or, hey, my charging system uh, has failed. And so based on that, uh, I need to make uh, maybe an alternate uh, plan on my trip and get to a location before my whole battery dies uh, so that I am not stranded. So what I did was once I mounted the battery bug up on the handlebar where I wanted it, I took the cable and ran it down the left side of the bike uh, over the left fuel tank. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the GSA actually has a tank on the left side and a tank on the right side. And uh, so I ran it over the fuel tank uh, inside uh, underneath the fascia and stuff, but over the tank, and then ran it back here to the battery. And then I have this fuse block that I installed and again the fuse is simply there to allow me uh, to very quickly uh, disconnect the battery bug uh, from my battery uh, to reset the battery bug. You really don't need to fuse it and you really don't want to run this thing through uh, say a fuse block or whatever. You really want this thing to go directly to your battery. Uh, which is what I've got here, uh, this being a negative and a positive. And, and, and the wires are, are all protected. They should, shouldn't have any issues. 
and there you go. What that does, that allows me as I'm traveling once again, I can see that my charging system, I know from experience now, is typically putting out anything over about 1,000 RPM is putting out between 14.4 and 14.5 volts. So if that drops for whatever reason, then I know that I possibly have a charging system and a, a issue and I need to make sure that uh, I look into that immediately uh, because I may not be able to keep the battery charged. Uh, it also, uh, at the same time, it's cycling back and forth. It's giving me the approximate uh, condition of my battery as of the last start. And that's great. When I get down to about 10%, it's going to come up and it's going to warn me, hey, it's time to do something about your battery. It's, it's, it's on its last leg. Last fall, uh, the battery bug told me that my battery was down to about 10%. And it was time to replace it. So just to check the battery bug, I took the battery out and I took it to a battery store where they tested the battery and they agreed that the battery bug was pretty accurate, that this battery was getting close to the, the end of its life. And so uh, I purchased a new battery. Uh, I would recommend you take a look at uh, something along the lines of the battery bug. I know there's other products out there. I've not tested any of them. I'm not paid by battery bug. I'm just telling you one of the things that I did put on my bike so that when I'm traveling uh, that's one less little surprise that hopefully um, I have to deal with. So until next time um, please subscribe to Armchair Traveler if you already have. Uh, thank you and uh, we'll see you next time here on Armchair Traveler.